Tom. Hello everybody, Tom Fox here. Welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. In the last episode, we finished the uh, the extra shines, the non-required shines, I should say, for uh, for Rico Harbor, and started the ones for Gelato Beach. I might have said Sirena Beach in the last episode, but I meant Gelato. We look at our lo totals here. Mm, those are some good looking totals right there. So we're gonna jump right back into it and start on the secret shines for Gelato Beach. Guff, guff, guff. So, I think we want to actually go to the first episode of this one. Dune Bud Sandcastle Secret. Dune Bud. Yo, what's up, Dune Bud? It's the Sandcastle Festival. Oh boy, and the blue cataquacks are back. One of these is the right one. Wow! Found the right one. No, don't touch me. No, I don't like to be touched. Oh, let's get in there quickly because I think if it melts, then uh, we have to blow it up all over again. All right. We still got our jetpack. We got our hover dues. Come over here, smash the red button. Collect right red coins for the timer runs out. Good luck. And there's there's a little there's a little Josh Jepson for you there. Or maybe that was an overall versus thing. Maybe it was maybe maybe Tyler was the one who said it initially. Who knows? Ah, I'm fine. We gotta... We gotta save Christmas! I got 30 seconds left to do this, and I got two more of these to find. I'm assuming they're on either end of these platforms here. Yep, and I see the other one. I'll grab the coin first, then the life. Seems like a, seems like a logical step. It's very rare that you just see Mario sort of in the background of a, of like a shine sprite animation that's so far away. Anyway, I want a li oh, I need to get a life. That's what I've heard my entire life in my time of just playing video games. That's the wrong shine. The right one's down there. Whoo! Yee! Nice. Let's continue on then, shall we? So, this is another one of those levels where we only have, uh... Let's see. Uh, so, I believe we go back to, I think it's the first one? It might not matter. But, uh, it is a, it is a Dune Bud secret. This is actually a very quick shine as well, if you could find it fast enough. What you want to do... I think I actually tried to find this one earlier, but is it, it's either this one or a different one. Not that one. So it has to be on the sand, remember. Let's see, where was it? It's very specific. It might actually be further up. I thought it was close to that, but I, I'm pretty... I might... Oh, no, wait. Is, is that it over there? No, this, is this was definitely not it. I know, because it's too close to an NPC. Uh, oh, man. Might be up here? I think this is it, actually. This one over here. Yep. Spray the wall really quick before it goes back up. Dang. All right. Well, since it drops, you don't really have to worry about uh, about being launched. And quickly spray it. There you go. And that is how you do. Like I said, that one is a very quick one. 
Uh, and in this particular mission, there is no, uh... uh excuse me. In this particular mission, there is, uh, no dune bud that gets you to... Like, it gives you the stairs, is what I'm trying to say. You get a little bit of, of speed there if you if you dash into a into an uphill. And bossa boom! Shine! That's two very quick shines in only five minutes. We got plenty of time for that hundred coin star or that hundred coin star. Hundred coin shine! I'm a Super Mario 64 kid, alright. Alright. All right, so this one's gonna be a little, uh, mm, not great. But we're, what we're gonna do is head back into the Watermelon Festival. And we are going to make an attempt to break every single watermelon as many times as it takes. I don't know why this particular dune bud is covered in, uh, in, in goop. But, what I want to do is PUSH! How much momentum does it take? I, I, these things pop, like, all the time when I would play this game. Oh! What does it take to pop this? I think there's one coming after me. Here, you come after me. I need you to pop this melon. Oh, the coins on the damn solar thing! Oh man, I'm not getting that coin. Prob yeah, it's gone already. The watermelons grow back immediately. And every time you pop it, it gives you coins. Why didn't he? Why did he fling? Ah, oh, he didn't fling. There we go. Hey. Right. Ow. I think it has to be moved first before he can fling. There we go. Hey, launch this again. Goodness, the coins are health. Oh no! God! God! Stop! I need you for one job and one job only, and it's not that. Might as well spray all the cataquacks while I'm at it. Does they each give me a coin? Oh, I hear you walking around. You know what? I don't really care. You're gonna get popped. This is gonna be a little bit monotonous, I can already tell. Is that a Noki? I guess it was just a Noki walking around. I heard something. Aha! That's one thing I wanted to find. Jump on every single one of these guys here. Every single one of them. There's probably faster ways to get, uh, to get the 100 coin shine. This is the way I'm doing it. Because if I can get the melons to break, each one of them gives, uh, gives a coin 10 times for 30 coins. I still need to figure out if I can find coconuts anywhere. And the cataquacks are dead. The birds weren't singing and the pants were dead. Good old fashioned Freeman's mind. He's gonna get up soon. There we go. You do me a solid. Thank you, buddy. Got a real lunker of a melon. Come here. 
Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Oh! Aha, cataquacks hate water. I have a defense. All right. Another melon. Another melon going down. Oh, I didn't want it. Get up. Oops! He's mad. I made him mad. I made him mad. Man, I'm not getting that coin. Man alive. I missed so many coins just based on those alone. Hey! Son of gun. Ooh, give me coin. There are so many things that want me dead. Grab coin. Yes. Whew. Why? Get up and grab coin! I can't believe I was still able to make that. Eh. Shoot! I mean, it's still paying out, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I might fast forward through through this if, uh, if, you know, no more coins come out of this. Come on. Smash my melon. Smash my melon. Smash my- smash my melon! Smash my melon! Seems like more than ten are coming out of these melons. Smash melon. Smash melon. Smelon. Oh no! That, that worked out in my favor, actually. Oh, there's more cataquacks to jump on. Uh, A tree just burst out of the ground! I don't know what caused that, but I sprayed water there and a tree came up. So I'll take it. Oh, you know what? I think this one just comes up. Yeah, those stairs come up no matter what. Ooh. Grab me some coins there. Jump on this guy. Have his coin go through the wall! Hey, you jumped on my brother! You jumped on me! Someone around jumping around on cataquacks! It's, it's crazy! Why are they doing this? The cataquacks are supposed to be a calm native species, but they've grown aggressive because of this guy! Hey, the rocket shoes! I mean, the rocket nozzle! The rock- The rockets! Press and hold R to blast off into the sunset! Way! I wonder if getting the, uh... I don't think the, the area with the dune bird had a lot of coins to it. Oh, why bees? Damn it, bees! Thank goodness. Alright, and I got the- I got 50 so far, so that's good. What the heck is- is that a cataquack in there? That is a cataquack. This is the blue cataquack sleeping in a tree. I'm gonna have to come back for that one. I wish I had Yoshi. Because I could probably eat those coins then. Actually, doesn't the swing have a... Uh... I think the swing gives you coins as well. Uh, okay, good. I was gonna say, unless there's none there, because the, cause they didn't, you know, render in. Dive! Get some speed! I might have to keep grinding on the melons in order to be able to get more coins, or enough coins, I should say. Alright, there's five here, so... Whoop. Damn it! Alright, come back. Second- Ah! Second verse, same as the first, alright? We go up, and... We go up! 
There we go. And alley-oop. Coins and tree. I also see a blue coin off in the off in the, the, the salty distance of the water. Are there coins in that tree? There are. Ah. Coins are nice. But uh oh geez. Get out of the sand! I said this in the last episode, I would have never thought that I would be doing the hundred coin collecting in these because I when I was a kid. Because I well never did them. They were always, uh, the mission, the, the, like, I, like, I, I was always, like, I wasn't really a completion kid. I was more of a whatever it takes to get the job done sort of kid. There's a blue coin up here as well. I think the audio froze when I collected that blue coin for a second. 130 blue coins, wow. Dang it. All right, I gotta get on this. There we go. Come on. I don't think I've ever been to any sort of like tropical island. Uh, where'd that blue coin go that I saw before? Is it over this way? There it is. Render distance was just wasn't having it. You know, I, I, that's not true. I've been to the Caribbean before, but that was on a cruise, so I never really got a chance to like look around on like the islands. I would always generally stay on the boat because I, 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 I didn't really want to travel that much when I was younger. <laughs> now that I'm older, I appreciate it more. And I'm glad my parents did take me on those trips. I've been to a bunch of other places. I've been to Spain, I've been to Greece, I've been to England. I've been to the Caribbean. I've been to a bunch of places all over the US. Especially when my dad would travel around for business. Uh, I don't think I've ever been to, I've never been to Hawaii or, or uh, An uh, Antarctica, Alaska before. I've definitely never been to Antarctica. Is there a coin underneath here? There's usually at least one. But I guess now. All right, uh, 68. So we need 32 more coins, which very well might come from uh, me just destroying the melons over and over again, which might be a little monotonous. So I might skip that part out of this. This is probably good. Hopefully, this is going to be the longest one. Are there coins up here? Ooh, that might not be good. Uh. Yeah, da, 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 da. Do, do these guys give you? Oh, wait, I guess I'll wait for him to come back around. Seagull, do you give me anything? I think they give you coins. If they fly back around like low enough for me to be able to hit them, I'll be able to tell. Uh, where was that? I don't think that was the one behind me. I have no idea where that was. Okay, uh... I wonder if I could just destroy these myself. There we go, you can destroy them yourself. Except they disappear quickly! Ugh! So I need to be very wary of that. Uh, I don't know what causes them to actually break like they do. Whoa, 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 whoa! No, don't roll down there. I do not want to have to run all the way back up here to get to get the coin that's in you. Do me a solid and stay up here and break for the love of God! What caused the first one to break? Was it just the way I was pushing it against the wall, maybe? I think we got airborne initially, which is what happened. Wish you could just break it like that. There we go. That time I slammed into the wall and it seemed to work. So I guess I'll keep doing it. Yep, it's working. Ah, they do give you coins. I'll wait for it to land again before I start squirting it again. But in the meantime, we're just gonna go ahead and, and just blow it up. Blow up watermelons in the meantime. There we go. The coins disappear so fast. It's uh kind of telling as to why people never actually go for the, the hundred coin shines. 
Well, not that they never go for them, but the, just the fact that it's like... It's such an uncommon thing to do in a casual playthrough, you know? Like, it's not necessary. Oh, did that? Okay. I was afraid that got somewhere that I wouldn't be able to reach. Oh, I was afraid I wasn't going to get that either. At least I got a little bit of a consistency here where I'm breaking melons and shooting birds. I mean, obviously the birds aren't going to last forever. Uh, and I might have to, like, find... There might be other birds elsewhere that I could shoot with the water in order to get more coins. The seagulls might work as well. I haven't tried to shoot the seagulls yet. Wait for that one to come back. In the meantime, we'll continue to smash melon. We're only 19 away, so... I seem to have found a good a, a good little clip here. Hopefully I'm not, like, one coin short and, like, scrounging for whatever coins I can find. Alright, this seems like the best way to burst watermelons as well. Alright, well, I didn't get that one, but I think another bird just landed. Yep, and it's flying away. I probably... Ooh! I was gonna say, I probably shouldn't do that, otherwise it'll just get caught on the edge, and I, or caught in a hill, and I have to go all the way down to get it. Uh, okay. What? Okay, that one's out of coins, but there's still a bird that has to come back for me to get its coin. I really am sort of scraping the bottle of the bottle, the bottom of the barrel for some of these coins here. There we go. But it's kind of what I have to do. There's probably another mission where I could have gotten plenty more coins, but the guide I'm using said to, to go for this one. Oh, boy. And, ooh, there's actually five coins up there. Yahoo! Waha! Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay, can I make it up there? I have the rocket nozzle, so... Oh, oh, I see more coins. I'll go for them after I get these. Hopefully. Hopefully that is a case of something that I can get. Oh, for God's sake. I'm gonna run out of water. Actually, I might be able to just reach this. Hey, I can reach it! All right, four coins here, and then there's two down there, as well as the blue coins that I'm getting from this. And can I jump down there without too much hassle? I can. Ooh. All right. Got the blue coin, slam to the ground. Grab the, the yellow coin, grab the... Oh, 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 I was going for a slide there for a second, buddy. All right. Uh, so I'm not going to rely on the Cataquax time. I'm just going to slam the melon into the wall. And that one's out. I need nine more coins. This actually might be pretty tight, because I don't know where else to find coins. Unless there's a situation where I can spray the beach down and coins will just appear, like in other levels, but I don't know if that's the case. I might be in a situation where I'm out of coins. Which is very, very bad. Unless I can find Yoshi and get rid of the fat here. I think it's supposed to be jelly. I don't know. I called it fat because that's how, that's how other friends of mine have said it. My bananas are in the fat. One. All right. Here's the moment of truth here. The final, the final melaning. I need you to kindly screw off. It's also possible that I missed a cataquack along the way, although I'm certain I was fairly thorough. Two. I think there might only be... I think I've already tried to get two of these and ended up losing... Or, I ended up get, getting one and losing the other, so I'm pretty sure there's only eight in here. Um... How about... Come on, there we go. Okay, how about I just run it into a wall that's close by? Or the tree. The tree might work if I can line it up correctly. Yeah, the tree's definitely gonna work. Five more coins. This is getting. <laughs> this isn't. Th this is. This is tense in one sense, but in many other senses, definitely not. It's tense in a sense where it's like, if I run out of this, then I have to like search everywhere for another coin. 
but it's not in the sense where I could just be like, oh no, 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 no. You, what? Oh no, 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 no. Let me get the coin before you, I didn't get the coin. Ah, I missed it. Oh no. Uh, up here it is then. For the last, no, I need that. And I get hurt twice in a row with that. That's it's fun. It's fine. It's good. I can't wait. Oh boy. Man, this is rough. And I'm out of coins, so I need to find three more coins somewhere, anywhere, and I'll be good. Does the reef have any? Does this cabana have any? If it doesn't have, if they don't have any more coins left, I'm going to be terribly cross. There's gotta be coins around here somewhere, anywhere. I see coin, th uh, those shadows, they gotta be coins, right? Oh my god, there are. And a blue coin. I wasn't going for one, but I got it. That was a really weird sound glitch there, but it sort of reflects how I feel about this whole thing. Not quite all there. I'm gonna make sure there's no other blue coins under here. Because you can never be too sure. Oh my god. I'm so glad I was able to get that. I have no idea what I would have done if there were no more coins left. No, I know exactly what I would have done. I would have restarted the level because that would have been the only thing I could have done. Man alive. Peanut Park is after this and I'm pretty sure there's like one really quick one we can get there. If I didn't screw up the watermelon so many times I probably would have gotten this sooner, but... Oh well. Is there something there? There might be a blue coin there, actually. I'll have to find out later when I'm going back and getting all the blue coins. Whew! Under coin shine. I think I made that a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Alright, let's head back to, uh, let's head over to Pina Park then. Cause, uh, oh, you know what? Uh, I think I might want to wait on, uh, on doing that one. Just because of the, uh... Well... Remember, we're not starting off with a secret one, we're starting off with episode 8 of each world, so... I think I might cut this episode short... ...and try to go for it next time, because this one coming up is gonna take a while. If you play this game before, you know exactly what it's gonna be. So, I will see you all next time, then. We're getting into Peanut Park. Later!